Hello Sagittarius! Welcome to Reflexive Moon Tarot. I am Sarah and I'll be hosting your reading for today. Uh, this is not a time specific read, but we are currently underneath the influence of the full moon in Aquarius during Virgo season. So lots of earth and air energy being directed our way. And this is not a time specific read. Like I said earlier, it is good good for any time that you that you manage to catch this video and do remember to take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest there's a lot of sagittarians out there in this world <laughs> a lot of fabulous ones that i feel i am blessed to know so with that sagittarius let's get into this reading for you Ooh. Death. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Not actual death. This is more metaphorical death. Uh, this is change. This is new life. This is killing off some type of energy or behavior in order to make room for new adjustments for new beginnings and even new surroundings. This could be the ending of being in a space, head space, physical space, so that you can make room for a new one and new experiences that fall. Career-wise, I would say this is about health. Health is wealth. This is also like social wealth, getting yourself into this could be like cutting off people as well who are toxic, um, who aren't in alignment with, you know, the direction that you, that you're taking. So you can have like soft cutoffs where you give people an opportunity to decide whether or not they wish to proceed, or you can, you know, do hard cutoffs where you literally just block people. But either way, it is for your health and benefit. And even for their benefit. Boundaries boundaries um, create awakenings. <laughs> as harsh as they can be at times. But let's see what else. We just got some, we got some raw career energy, raw money energy here. So what direction will that be taking? Or what's overlooking the situation for Sagittarius? So ending of an era within the mental realm so this is a new mindset with this death card a new mindset about money about health and career and it could be like all three of those things or it could just be one that you're focusing on so if it's health it's your mental health i would definitely say that is the case let's see what's going on in the subconscious Emotional imbalance. So where you're putting your energy emotionally is not, it's not healthy. So I feel like not ending certain emotions, but maybe not drowning in certain emotions. This could also be like, it could be like drama. You're done with drama done with other people's drama. Um, maybe you're the type of person that is, like you seek some type of connection. And it's, it's interesting as a Sagittarian because cause you Sagittarians are very detached. They're not like really can't stand clinginess. Um, it, it depends on the person though. But being independent is what you thrive on and having like freedom to to um to give to whatever situation in a way that is not does not tie you down is is huge for you but there's you know there's a a point in which you sort of have to realize that you have to uh like if if you're in like if, if healthy relationships are what 
or what the goal is here or an ending dysfunctional relationships. Like there's a role that you play on an emotional level. Are you too detached or are you overly attached as a Sagittarian? Cause that could totally be the case. Uh, some codependency may be at hand where, um, you know, like if you think about trauma issues and being super independent so that you don't have to be the kind of person, like you don't want to be a burden and on people and, also a martyr complex, martyr complex comes to my mind when it comes to that, um, wanting to, like, because you're so independent, Sagittarius, it might, you like, you just want to work all the time, you want to be responsible for everything, or you want to prove that you can do everything, and, uh, and also, also, what you do, like you may be burnt out with what you do or what you have been doing and too emotionally attached to what you have been doing. Maybe I'm just trying to think like maybe what you've been doing has really been emotionally like impacting you emotionally and therefore impacting you spiritually and impacting your actual connection with source with the people that you love and care for and work with so something's got to give with the death card something's got to give interestingly you have not really received the recognition that you seek or you have somehow managed for whatever reason to have created a reputation for yourself that is not positive. And I wouldn't say that it's completely at your fault. Like, you know, people are, people are evil and toxic very often. That is the case. And they like to believe the opinions of others. They value gossip and the opinions of others because, you know, for whatever reason, like we can sit there and talk about all the reasons all day, like too lazy to figure out how a person is really on their own or on a lack of un like an unwillingness to give people the benefit of the doubt, understanding that testing people without their consent really does set them up for failure. Uh, it, and, yeah, there's so many reasons we could get into that, unfortunately, we are not going to get into at this time. But if you would like to get a personal reading and get more into depth about that or just have a friendly conversation, you can uh, DM me on Insta at Reflexive Moon Tarot. Justice, hey now, moving forward into a state of getting shit done, getting your life together, uh, really, um, I like the truth to a situation, like, like truth and reconciliation <laughs> um, really is the truest form of justice. It is that... Uh, restitution reciprocity reparations that's there there's the three three real r's right there also reduce reuse recycle but <laughs> there is some type of justice that is about to be served and it sounds like you're going to get to either be directly involved in it or witness it on some level and it will most likely be satisfying so doing yourself some justice um, letting go of things and just uh, focusing, focusing on where you have really centered your desired direction in life. Because your attitude is not focused on that. You're caught up in something. And in order to move into this place of justice, you need to adjust your attitude to stay focused on your true goals in life. 
This could also speak to the justice not 100% meeting your expectations um, because sometimes when we put the output out there, it's not guaranteed that the cookie cutter result we're looking for will return in that way. It's not a cookie cutter situation. It's kind of like a you get what you get and you don't get upset situation. And, you know, life, for whatever reason, like say, you know, say it's time to be, to move on into a different phase in your life or to move on into a different, a new job, a new role within your, within your job. There's just things that you're going to have to let go of because they are not a priority. And interestingly, folks are seeing that you are, there's something that you are afraid of. They're seeing that you are struggling to sleep. It could be Sagittarius. You're not getting enough rest um, and you're plagued by anxiety, a cycle of anxiety. <sighs> That's making you tired tired of being tired and everything that challenges and requires an energy output is giving you nightmares so okay permit reversed not being wise, make, not like so being afraid of not making the right decisions. If if this is you in a leadership role and you're becoming a little bit insecure about your decision making process, your ability to make executive decisions or even to assert yourself when you know that there's an injustice occurring, that I would say that's at the core of your fear. Like you want you want there to be balance. You want everything to be dealt with and taken care of. And you're very focused on detail, which is super important. Like when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That is that is an approach for many Sagittarians out there. And I mean, not so much with like personal relationships, but with, you know, the um, with like the projects that you commit to. Definitely. Yes. So. I feel like this is also linked to this reversed six of wands where people like you're afraid that people are not going to see you as a leader or you're afraid of owning up to your already like into to your position of being a leader. And this is like, could be that there's like some type of false humility that you are subscribing to on some level. And I really think it's important that you, Allow yourself to be celebrated and don't make a thing of it. Don't worry about how you look. Don't worry about how people see you. Like, there's a time and a place. There's nothing really, like, there's no real conspiracy here. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of influences that may cause you to see that you are at a deficit or that things are working against you, but... I really think that this is you, like, I think that, like, if you're going to truly channel this justice, it's you acknowledging yourself and how amazing and fabulous and beautiful and important you are, like, how critical you are to every situation that you put yourself in. So whatever, like, detachments whatever negative detachment behaviors you're experiencing, this has everything to do with uh, loving yourself and understanding that you are the cat's meow, Sagittarius. You've always been the cat's meow. You just need to recognize. All right. Thank you so much for checking out this reading and I really hope it resonates. Again, take what works for you and leave the rest and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.